What's up guys? I'm Frank. Welcome to the channel. Look, I kind of missed the boat a little bit as far as horror movies go during October, but to be honest, I'm still in the mood to see some horror movies, so that's what I'm going to do. Today I'm going to check out The Conjuring. I've been kind of composing a, a list of movies and things that I want to check out on the channel. If you have any suggestions, go ahead and just leave them in the comments. Let me know and I'll, I'll look into them. I already watched The Lighthouse with Willem Dafoe and Robert Pattinson. I loved it. That will probably be up before this, so you might have already seen it. I kind of just want to jump right into this, so let's get started and check out The Conjuring. It started out small. Like, a hand or a leg was in a different position. And its head was looking up instead of down. That is a creepy looking doll. Oh my god, that face. Just playing a trick on you. It's exactly what. I like how it has that crack going down the middle. Kind of looks like a cat eye. We learned from her that a seven year old girl named Annabelle Higgins had died in this apartment. She wanted to live with us by inhabiting the doll. We said yes. But then things got worse. What? <laughs> what a weird thing to say yes to. And just be okay with. Like it's, yeah, that's normal. Oh. Yeah, I know, I'm out of there. That is a very loud crayon. <laughs> That was a pretty cool shot. Interesting coming up from the alleyway. <laughs> Holy shit. There's like this graininess or washed out effect that kind of makes it feel older. The controversial career is there. It's one case so malevolent. They've kept it locked away until now. Based on... Oh, this is supposed to be based on a true story? I didn't know that. So do I get to pick my own room or do I have no choice in that either? I'm guessing somebody doesn't want to be here. Oh, great. <laughs> Can't wait. Come on, Sadie. Sadie, let's go. Mm -mm. Hey, come. The dog doesn't want to go in. I'm not going in. Do not question a dog's intuition. What's your name? I love the zombies. Hey mom, can I hang up with Jen? Of course. There's a lot outside you can hang it on. I love this long shot following them around in the house. Just like free and flowing. It's a lot of fun. Come on, April. And it's gone. That too, just the long zoom in, almost like a, like it was a home camcorder, zooming in from a home um, video. Take left. <laughs> Guys, Whoa. you don't know the house well enough. Someone's gonna get oh, hurt. Okay, okay. Feels like kind of a dangerous game, but looks fun. Is that an actual thing? I never played that as a kid. Hey Nancy, can you go get me the matches, please? Uh oh. What's going on? Nancy brought some. A hidden compartment in a house. Let's open it up. See what's inside. I don't want any you girls going down there. Uh, let's stop it, Nancy. Stop it. Got extra square footage anyway. I'll check it out in the morning. I kind of don't like that he left the matches down there. Did she not have that before? I'm cold. It is chilly, isn't it? And there was this really funky smell in my bedroom last night. It like something died. Is it still there? No. Problem solved. So the smell just vanished on its own? You know, I'm sure she's hungry by now. Why don't you go and get her? 
Oh. Morning, Dad. Can you hey. hold this? <sighs> Please be outside, Sadie. It's it's too soon for something to happen to a dog. Maybe you got knocked around on the move. Speaking of knocked around, what did you do to me last night? Ouch. So I didn't do that, did I? I don't know. Sadie. So a smell that came and went, and a bruise that showed up on its own. Don't be. God damn it. God damn it. It is too soon. We just started the movie. Man, what a traumatizing thing to see as a kid. That's so messed up. Everything you see in here is either haunted, cursed, or has been used in some kind of ritualistic practice. Nothing's a toy. Not even the toy monkey. <laughs> it's safer for these things to be in here than out there. It's kind of like keeping guns off the street. Well, why not just throw them in an incinerator? Destroy them. Well, I would only destroy the vessel. Sometimes it's better to keep the genie in the bottle. That's interesting. It's a kind of cool idea. So he kind of collects like this. Um, it almost looks like a shop of antiques. And he's containing all these evil spirits in them. I like this. You said she's a condom. That's right. What does that mean? A very powerful demonic has latched itself onto her. We have to take great precaution. But what about your wife? What about her? Father Gordon told me that that was different. That was really cool how it really focused in on his reflection in the glass next to the doll. I like how like professional and official this guy is presented. Like this is his it's a real job of his and that people take it seriously. Looks like the activity is just starting out very small and subtle. Other than the dog, I'm assuming, that had to do with the this demonic entity. What's that sound? It's Cindy. She's in my room. She's sleepwalking again. Again? So this was common even before they moved here? Oh, hello. Seen her do this. I remember you saying not to wake her if she's like this. So. No, we just put her back to bed. That must be rather unsettling to find your sibling like that in the middle of the night. I would be worried about them. Yeah. She's sleepwalking again. She hasn't done that for a while. She ended up in Andrea's room too. Oh, I guess it wasn't all that common. What are we gonna do? Oh no. Another mark. Another bruise here. Hmm. Does that hurt? Can you do me a favor, go see a doctor for that? Yeah, I will. Am I safe? Yeah. I love you. Uh, mm -mm. I'd start asking questions. Two random bruises that big showing up out of nowhere? Nah. <laughs> You're doing a good job of making it, making this house feeling very uncomfortable to be at already. There's just something very unsettling in all these small things that are happening. Definitely wouldn't want to move here either. Jesus. Yeah, <laughs> uh, okay, I guess Rory doesn't want to see me, huh? He got me. I kind of thought we, we were actually going to get a glimpse of something there. They really want us to see that dresser in the background. Third clap. That is creepy. There was something so unnatural about the way those hands came out. Is she really in there? Oh 
no. I win. You weren't even warm, Mom. I was in Christine and Nancy's room. Oh, my God. I would have woke up my sister by now. Or my brother or whoever's there. Yeah. That was a really cool shot, by the way. The point of view upside down under the bed. I was just panning back and forth. Do you see it? See what? She actually sees something? There's no one. There's no one here. See? kind of tricky to anticipate when something is or isn't going to happen in the movie. Sometimes in movies you kind of, you assume when something scary is going to happen, but I can't really tell with this one. Right now it's just my weight. We take the water coming off the pipe combined with the wind coming through the broken window, these boards are going to expand and rub against each other. You heard it all through the house because of these pipes leading to the radiator. So this place isn't haunted? No, it rarely is. I like how they demonstrated them kind of taking very rational approaches before jumping to the conclusion that there's some kind of demonic entity in there, despite it being their job, quite literally, to find them. It shows that they take their job very seriously. Everyone's asleep. Dude, you see, that's what I'm talking about. It's really hard to know when these things are gonna happen. Mm -mm. Who is that? I'm not playing games, I'm leaving. It really just feels like this house is almost just toying with them. The doors are leading in a straight line directly into the shadows. Who's ever down there? I'm gonna lock you in now! Ow. Oh. Looks like they locked her in. The matches, oh right, the ones that he forgot. I guess it was a good thing that he left them. I thought the house was gonna burn down or something. Hey, wanna play hide in the lab? No, no thanks. <laughs> oh. oh my God. This movie is so creative with where it chooses to put its scares in. <gasps> does she see something? Yeah, she does. Bro, get your family and leave tonight, now. Like, that's enough. A dark spirit made its home in this man. You can see him tearing blood. Uh. An upside down cross started to appear from within his body. Uh. All right, Drew, you can hit the lights. Oppression and possession, the infestation, that's, that's the whispering, the footsteps, the feeling of another presence, which ultimately grows into oppression. That's what the family was experiencing right now right breaks the victim down crushes their will and once in a weakened state leads them to the third and final stage possession 
I am like focused. I feel like I really am in school. This guy's just giving us the rundown. I love it. See you later. How can we help you? There's something horrible happening in my house. Please, please, can you come and take a look? Of course we will. Hello. Hi. 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 Thanks for coming. Hi, I'm Roger. Lorraine. Hey, nice to meet you, Roger Ed Warren. Thanks for coming. Please come in. Thank you. Oh my. She kind of stared at him a little long right there. Those bruises. You're from something that happened here? Uh, some iron deficiency thing I have. Oh, come on. How are you going to say that with all this stuff happening? Iron deficiency. Ghost is beating you. Mom and Dad tell me that you have a friend. His name is Rory. He lives here too. But he's always sad. Why is that? He won't tell me, but I think something bad happened to him. Do you mind if I try to see Rory? Are we gonna see something this time? Her face. There he is. So creative, I love it. The swirl, the reflection, how she moved it around and it just had us following on the screen. I can't believe I haven't seen this movie before. I love that tree too. What is it? Oh my god. Well, Lorraine and I both feel uh, the way your house needs is a cleansing. The it's scrubbing. Oh. Or that. I've been seeing the dark entity that haunts your house and your land. When I came through your door, it was latched to your back. That's why she was staring at him. So far, it hasn't done anything violent, and that's a good sign. So we're going to have our guy do some homework on the property, though, to see what we're up against. So we're gonna get some backstory on the house and the land itself. Officer Brad Hamilton, Harrisville, Rhode Island, PD. Hmm. Nice to meet you, man. So, you're the lucky new cop, huh? Guess so. You know you can't shoot ghosts, right? Take it easy on him, Drew. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, this organ. That's a, a ghost catching montage. Ooh, that was so cool how we got to see their gear like in action. And the fact that it was actually happening right in front of them instead of seeing it after the fact is not really something that I feel like you see in movies. Like they saw it working in real time. something up. Wow. I like how we had the point of view of the guy with the actual camera. And in this uh, the in the basement, were we getting the audio from a microphone that he was carrying? Because I thought something was wrong with my audio for a second. <laughs> with my volume. You've got to help. I'll start with the Chevy. <laughs> Ooh. Very quick shift in tone. Ooh. That was cool. Did 
just like put something in her? Are you okay? I'm fine. You sick? I woke up just feeling a little nauseous, that's all. I thought I saw I hear Roger and the girls. One minute. Oh fuck no. That scared me, but it was awesome how we saw the silhouette of the person around the sheet. And then it flew up to the window. Oh shit. Hey. Ed? Look what you made me do! Made me do! Ed! Ed! I saw someone. There was a woman dressed as a maid. And Oh, wow. No, wait, 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 we need this. Why don't we need pictures of Cindy? Somebody's with her. Cindy! Cindy? Is she in the dresser? Ed, no. where'd you go? Greg, get the UV light. The what? Just ask Drew. I need a UV light. <laughs> a UV light bulb, please. Is he gonna see her with that, or footsteps? So she did go into the dresser, in a way. No. Oh. Found her. That's where Rory hides when he's afraid. That was the kid's hiding spot. What? How far down did she go? Where is she? It felt like she was falling for a really long time. She's trying to see if she can find the kid. She killed him? Made me do it. Oh my God. It's not happy with that. Nancy? No, not the hair. God, that got violent so quickly. Judy? Oh God! Judy. That's her daughter? Jack, please. Karina, you gotta tell me what's going on? I had a vision of Judy in the water. I know it was some kind of warning. Let's get out of here. She has such cool powers, but also... What a horrible line of work to be in. The toll that it's taking on her just seems so unbearable. It's like a gift and a curse to her. How the pattern on her pajamas almost matched the wallpaper and then the red with the staircase too jesus that is some strong lightning he said don't go in there that's right the doll damn i wasn't even thinking about when it was gonna come into play Too late before they get in there. Get away from the door, Judy! Oh, God. Oh. I 
thought it was going to hit them. I was so wrapped up in the events with the family that I almost completely forgot about the doll. And she said that Carolyn took off with Christine in April. The girl said she smelled like rotten meat. She possesses the mother to kill the child. That's what she does. Yep. She's taking them back to the house. Roger, get back to the house now. I'll meet you there. Better hurry up. You think I'm going to let you walk into this alone? I can't lose you. You won't. Let's finish this together. Uh, I don't like those words. Never ends well. It's locked. Sarah! Roger! Get out of the way! They got there right on the verge of her, about to stab her. She won't let her leave the house. What? What do you mean? If we take her out, the witch will kill her. No. She's still there. Are they gonna have to try to do it themselves? Can they even do that? Then you need to leave. What are you talking about? Yeah. I have to do it. The exorcism. God brought us together for a reason. This is it. Oh my god, this is some, some cool camera work. Defende no sem prelio. Maybe just wait for the priest. Domine Nostri Jesu! The bro is Okay. Well, she's down. She's already gone. And now you're all gonna die. What? I did not expect that. A gun wielding demon. I condemn you back to hell! Way just switching back and forth from her, their faces is just so disturbing. You said they meant the world to you. This is what you'll be leaving behind. Hopefully, this is enough to bring her back. Is that it? Definitely looks like. She's back. It looks more like herself. I love you so much. Did it really work? Like, is it really over? Because I want it to be. I'm going to be so upset if it's not. <laughs> I want this family to get out of here. <laughs> the cop just bleeding. Just bleeding out. Walking away with a smile. Are we actually getting a happy ending here? Sometimes with these longer movies, you can't help but feel like it kind of lags here and there, you know, a little stagnant. But I don't remember feeling that one time during this whole movie. Like those two hours just flew by. There was always something 
just keeping me engaged with the movie from like the music the directing the anticipation that would be built up sometimes and the suspense there was always something going on and i loved it i was fully convinced too during the movie that you know this house was being haunted and this family too and the demonologist it, they did a really good job at making them feel so real and professional to where like i was listening to the things they were saying being like yeah yeah, you gotta this guy knows what he's talking about listen to him and his wife it was so good and also just props to the creativity of the directing and the camera angles you can tell the director was just having so much fun with some of the shots but there was there was sometimes this feeling this very flowy feeling almost like we were the ones behind the camera like it was a handheld camera and just a lot of fluid movements sometimes and then the choice of where the jump scares happened really caught me off guard sometimes you can anticipate jump scares and sometimes they still even scare you that's fine but this movie i felt like was really tricky i just i couldn't tell when something really was gonna jump out or not it always caught me off guard. I feel like the writers or the director kind of played with our feelings of anticipation, knowing that maybe we would feel a certain way during these parts of the movies. And then the jump scares would just be a little off, or like a little later or sooner than expected, and it would just really catch me off guard. I don't know, maybe I'm looking into it a little too much, but that's how I felt about it. It was super well done. And I know there's at least one, maybe two more movies of The Conjuring. And I'm definitely going to have to check them out now because I loved, I really liked this movie. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed that, feel free to subscribe or leave a comment. Tell me what you thought about the movie or the video. Um, how did you feel the first time you saw it? And um, yeah, see you next time.